everybody, this is a Lamley preview. We're going orange today. Matchbox has some models that I get to preview for you. These six 50th anniversary super fast models are coming. We'll get to all the details uh, here in a second. But uh, the team sent these over to me. They showed these on their Instagram page and they sent the six models that are coming out to me as well to showcase for you because they will be here later this summer or later this year. So keep your eyes open at Target. That is where they're coming. To give you a little bit of background, uh, last year we saw these. These were the Sapphire Gems. You can call them chase models. It wasn't like they were randomly packed into cases, but there were specific assortments that had them in here. They took, they picked four models from the basic range, the uh, Plymouth Barracuda, um, the Volkswagen, uh, the country, the Golf Country, uh, and then they, uh, what was it, the Oldsmobile, Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser. These were all in the basic range and last the uh, Ford Raptor. And they chose those four and then they turned them into these. They did the normal decos and then they did the special Sapphire gem additions to celebrate 65 years of Matchbox. Those were exclusive to stores in the US. So they did an international model and put it in a five pack because that was the best way for it to be distributed worldwide. And they did the Jaguar E-Type. So four Sapphire gems, one five pack exclusive and it was great for 65 years, and it will be great for Superfast celebrating its 50th birthday. So they've done it again. Six models coming later to Target, three in two different assortments, so three each, uh, specific to Target. They've also done a five-pack edition that's out now already. I think many of you have already found this in a five-pack. I think it was uh, some sort of utility, mountain, camping, some sort of style, um, but this model is already out. You can see 50th anniversary Superfast on there. All these models celebrate gold. Super fast, if you're familiar with it, it's a very common name. It's a very well-known name in diecast. Uh, we have seen super fast. Obviously, it started in 1969. We'll get into that in a little bit. And then we've seen reincarnations. It lasted for years and years. And we've seen reincarnations back in 2004 through about 2010 or maybe 2008. And now it is back, not only is these, for these special anniversary cars, but they're using that name for the premium opening parts models that we've seen and that are on the pegs now. Interesting, if you think about the history of diecast and you think about the history of, uh, of the diecast that we're familiar with, they're celebrating 50 years of Superfast in, 19, in 2019, who celebrated 50 years in just last year. You can kind of put two and two together. Matchbox started first back in the late 50s, was running strong, and then all of a sudden Hot Wheels came on the scene with a totally different take on these small-scale models and started releasing these fast, customized uh, race cars that you were supposed to race on the track. And Matchbox said, whoa, 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 we can do that too, and hence super fast. So the Matchbox super fast models were released with faster axles and wheels and so on and so forth. And to be frank, Hot Wheels has obviously thrived, but super fast was a major, major development for Matchbox as well. And it's a perfect thing to celebrate. Now Mattel owns it all, so they might as well celebrate it all. And that's what these six models are for. All right, let's get right to them. The Seagrave fire engine is one. I don't know the exact assortments. I don't know what's coming in the first three and what's coming in the second three, but we'll just go through all six. Seagrave is the classic fire engine. It's the Hudson Hornet police car, which is the classic police car. All of these are in the basic range this year. I think we've seen most, maybe not the, um, I don't know if we've seen the Camaro and I don't so know if we've seen the i8, but they are coming and then they are coming in these, uh, in these gold versions as well. So the Hudson Hornet, um, I was in a light blue police car, I think is how it was released here. Nice to see on some of these, not all of them, the chrome trim, the Hudson Hornet got it. Uh, we haven't seen a lot of models getting the chrome trim, but it uh, just showed up on the uh, on the Hudson Hornet. This one is awesome. This is the BMW i8, and here's what I think is cool about this one. BMW is requiring that blue trim everywhere on there on when they do when Hot Wheels does the i8 or the i3 models. So you can see the blue trim on the side. You can see it on the front grill, including the uh, what they've done is like gold headlights, super fast logo on the side, and then full deco on the rear. How cool is that? Some of you might ask why plastic wheels, but that's how Matchbox does it for their basic range. They don't do real riders on basic models. Um, they do they do the plastic wheels and I think they're good looking wheels and I think I think Matchbox uh, basic wheels are the better of the two compared with their premium ones. So I'm happy that they're on there. All right, moving back to the back on the other side. I love the selection of models. I love the G63 6x6, the Mercedes, 
and that is another one that you will see. Super fast logo shows up on the back. Nothing on the side, it appears, and then front deco as well. If you're noticing those little codes on the top, those are FEP codes because these are early models that, that uh, Matchbox sent to me for the preview. Really big fan of the 6x6. Next up, another great new casting. It's about two or three years old, is the Camaro Convertible. What year is this one? 2016 Camaro Convertible. I think of, of just quality of castings, this Camaro is one of the best that they've done. I think one of the best Camaro, I think they've done better Camaro castings of that new Camaro silhouette than uh, Hot Wheels has, to be perfectly honest. Um, and last but not least, I think this one is very cool. This is the BMW 2002. Obviously, it debuted in orange. And so this is the second version of the BMW 2002. No deco on the back, but you have the top stripe and you have the, uh, the front grille done, which I think is really important to do. So I don't know if we did. We get deco on the orange version. We did. Not on the back, but, um, but that's a cool kind of the side stripe and then the 50th super fast logo on the front. Like I said, I don't know which is coming which. Uh, the first batch, what three? If I find out, of course, I will pass that along. But these models are coming very, very soon. I don't know exactly what mixes. I think it's sometime this summer. I'd be excited about them. It's a cool little set and very nice to put together with the Sapphire Gems. Thanks, everybody. More to come. Bye.